So hello everyone. Thanks for giving me the opportunity and platform to share my experience. I'm going to talk about an awesome co-pilot feature in Power Automate for desktop that assists us in detecting the fix for UI error during the execution flow. Before I begin, I would like to give a quick introduction. My name is Mani Solanki. I am a tech enthusiast with a vast experience in application development and workflow automation. I specialize in designing and implementing solutions by leveraging the capabilities of Power Automate, Power Apps, and other Power Platform tools. During this session, I will cover the most common scenario in uh, UI and web automation. Next, we will discuss about the solution that is setting up repair flow error feature to resolve UI automation errors. Post that, we will cover the benefits of setting up this feature in automation process. After that, we will discuss the prerequisite to enable this feature in Power Platform environment. Then we'll jump on the hands-on session where I will show end-to-end -end case to solve error for attended implementation. Lastly, we will cover the list of known issues and limitations. Most frequent problem we face in UI and web automation are we have observed that post new release or patch of underlying application, the existing UI selector in desktop flow becomes invalid due to code or UI change by the application developer. Secondly, when underlying application that is set up or provisioned in lower environment, dev or test has different class or identifier for UI element as compared to production envir environment. So when we push the desktop flow in production, the desktop flow will not able to identify those UI elements and will fail ultimately. Coming to the solution, error related to missing UI element in automation can be fixed by enabling repair flow error feature. This is a public preview feature, so I would suggest playing around with this feature and share the feedback to Microsoft product team to further improve it. And the Microsoft team is uh, planning to uh, release this feature uh, by end of this April uh, in as a GA. This feature is available in Power Automate Desktop version 2.51 or higher, and it allows user to enable or disable as per the business case. This solution is applied only for UI elements that cannot be found at ex the execution time by bot in web and UI automation scenarios. The co-pilot suggests alternative selector for missing UI element on the screen during runtime. It also allows user to review the co-pilot suggestion before applying and saving the alternative UI selector. On the right side, we can see how we can enable this feature from the properties of a desktop flow. We will cover all those details later in the demo. The key benefits of repair flow errors are it improves reliability of automation by reducing errors. Fixing error definitely increase the success rate and improve the efficiency of, of operations. It further reduces the downtime for robotic process automation scenarios. To use this feature, we must enable some configuration setting in Power Platform Admin Center. The two important settings that we should enable are first is co-pilot setting, and second is desktop flow repair at runtime configuration. We have a separate setting for attended and unattended run. One important thing to note here is we need to enable the Power Platform environment as manage environment to make this feature work in unattended mode scenarios. Now I switch to live demo. I will cover only the attended implementation due to time constraint. So I will first show you the prerequisite. Uh, go to the Power Platform Admin Center, click Manage, and I'm using the dev environment. So you can see it is a managed environment, and that is we require for unimplementation, sorry, unattended runs. Then if I show you the settings that we need to enable for copilot repair error feature to work. Under product, you will get features. The first thing is the co-pilot should be enabled. And then next, if we scroll down, you can see desktop repair and runtime configuration. So you can see we have separate setting for attended and unattended run. 
so these has to be enabled to uh, for this feature to work next uh, i have already created a desktop flow uh, for unattended for attended scenario let me open it so meantime it is opening so uh, when you create a new flow you will get a setting you know uh, to repair a flow error during execution so it you can enable from here or you can disable so this is based on the business case and that if you enable this feature the co-pilot will assist you uh, in fixing the automation errors uh, during runtime so this is for the new flow if it is the existing flow then you can go to flow properties and you can ha have this setting enable or disable as per your need and when you enable it gives you two options one is repair with copilot in that case the co-pilot will suggest uh, error fix during runtime and it will you know uh, ask your concern before applying the fix fix and, and another is manually repair in that case you the user or maker has to be manually select the uh, correct selector uh, and and the and uh, during this feature so it has to be manually selected by the user during the execution time so in this demo i will show you how copilot will assist us in fixing the error coming back to the flow so this is a, a simple case so it will launch an invoice application i will show you the use case so this is my invoice application and you can see the contact email is blank so from bot we will you know um, uh, fill this contact email for this record so if you see the actions we have a run application that will launch this uh, exe invoice exe and there are certain setting like it will be open in maximize mode and it will wait for 10 seconds to load it gives an process id as a variable output this output we will use to terminate or kill this uh, exe in the later step now this is the selector this selector is basically uh, the text text box selector so you can see it has a default selector and this it has some properties you know and this is an invalid selector and it it gets this value from the input parameter so i will show you the we will uh, run this flow from the cloud flow with some input parameter that is a contact email so this is an input per input variable contact email that will pass from the cloud flow and this is we are setting in this text box you can see the input variable and this is an invalid selector so the bot will uh, you know stop here and it will fail then we have a next action so once you know bot fill this uh, text box it will click this save button so this is selector for save button you can see the image and then it wait for three seconds and then last we will terminate this exe or process using the app process id from the previous run application uh, variable so this is the flow and uh, let me show you uh, in debug mode so it will fail because we have an invalid selector so let's see yeah so you can see this this uh, flow has failed on step number two and it is unable to find the text box so this is a ui element that it is not able to you know identify because of invalid selector and it gives the error details and the recommendation so let's run this flow from the cloud in attended mode so i have a cloud flow sorry let me open in edit mode so it's a simple flow it's a manual trigger flow and you can see the second action that 
triggers a uh, desktop flow from the cloud. You can see uh, we have a up update account record flow and we are running in attended mode and this is the value we are giving uh, to set in that text box in the invoice text box so we are all set to test now the flow will run it will take some time uh, um, for the desktop flow to get triggered from cloud yeah so it, it will take some seconds to trigger on the machine in the meantime let me talk something about the selector so selector are basically the xml expression for ui elements that contains the name id and other attributes and using selector the bot identify the ui elements and interact with uh, it like it will read the values from those ui elements and we can write the values so this way the bot interacts and this way you know the selector is helpful for power automate desktop to identify that so here you go the bot has trigger uh, launch the invoice exe it will fail and now the copilot window will pop up for the repair and it is all happening during the execution time you can see here we have got an error and then the co-pilot is suggesting and locating the correct you know uh, the ui element for this scenario so it has come out with a suggested fix so on the top you can see a repair session window it 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 the default time is 15 minutes if you don't take any action in 15 minutes this step will be skipped and the bot will fail because because of invalid selector or because it won't able to identify the text box so on the, on the top screen you can see it gives an error it it won't able to identify the text box ui element it gives the name of the desktop flow the action number and the you know action name and the uh, flow flow or subflow name where this uh, action is filled it also captures this uh, image and now this is a preview selector is basically the default selector that we already have in our desktop this is invalid selector and now come to the suggested fix the window at the bottom here you can see uh, it has come up with some uh, suggestion so if you click here it will highlight that you know text box uh, uh, on the screen within the application so it is pointing to this contact email which is the correct selector now if you click on preview selector so this this is the correct you know um, selector script or we can say xml for this text box if we compare it you can see the id it are different it contain txt account contact email and it has some you know some numbers after this so we also have an option to cancel if you cancel it then this uh, feature will not be apply and the bot will fail because of invalid selector now we have three options like we can repair manually so in manually it gives an option to select the uh, ui element manually and then you know uh, and and this will also happen when you know this copilot is not able to locate or identify identify the correct um, or ui element uh, so it will ask the user to manually select it and apply once is a temporary fix so it will apply that you know the correct selector for this run but if you run it again then it will also then it will stuck to the uh, same step because of invalid selector so this apply for every run is a permanent solution it adds a new persis persistent selector in the list of selector in the actual desktop flow so let me click it so you can see it is adding a valid selector correct selector in that update re account record desktop flow it will take some time it has been added now the 
cloud flow desktop flow will continue you can see the new value and it will save and it will exit so the bot has completed its you know execution and we have successfully fixed that error uh, during bot execution the, the cloud flow is also executed successfully so i will show you the effect of apply to all so let's open this uh, desktop flow again Meal, meanwhile it is opening let's check the invoice application see the output so here you are we have a value in the contact email that we have passed from the cloud flow yeah so this is the action that failed let's check it so here you can see the cell field generated selector is automatically added by this copilot feature and if we open in text editor you can see this is a valid selector so we have two selector here one is invalid and valid so because we have a valid selector in the list of selector so the bot will not fail again and this is how we can you know uh, use copilot uh, feature to fix uh, ui and web automation error during execution Let me go back to the slide which I cover, where I cover the known issue and limit, limitation. So uh, this feature is available only in US region and support only attended and unatt unattended run mode scenarios. It works for desktop flow saved in schema version 2.0. This feature limits in adding a persistent selector for the desktop flow trigger in unattended mode. It could not suggest error fix for UI element in virtual desktops. This feature does not support child flow execution, UI element collection, and picture in picture execution. The option apply for each run will be available only if there is an active user session into the Power Automate for desktop cons console. Lastly, this feature does not support drag and drop action and can't be applied to selector that contains one or more variables so you have seen how easily we can set up repair flow error feature to increase the success rate of ui and web automation in both attended and unattended scenario i hope you find this session useful and would like to thank everyone for patiently listening to me thank you, thank you.